100 again today. Uh, it's been raining a lot these last couple of days, so it's going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be pretty slick, especially as we get up towards the top of the mountain range. Um, yeah, on these stock tyres, it's going to be fun, but it's going to be a good day. All right, let's keep going. a really interesting little bit of road we're sort of on this fine saddle between that's just running up the mountain so there's sort of like a drop off just over here and then a drop off just over the other side of the road so we're sort of just following this little uh, saddle up the mountain uh, beautiful views it's a bit hard to see through the scrub on the side of the road here but beautiful views in this next big deep valley there and um, same over the other side so down the valley as I was coming up it's very difficult to see again through the scrub on the side of the road but you can see Gnook and you can see Coxcomb as well which are two of the mountains uh, in the upper Lansdowne Valley. Alright we're going to continue heading along uh, this road and uh, hopefully make some progress.
so I've just pulled over up here pretty much at the top of the plateau now I've just turned down towards to go there's a crossroad and I've just turned down to go towards Elands if I kept going straight ahead which is just to my right now I would end up at Convoy uh, we'll be doing a few more trips going over through Convoy soon I've got a fair few planned um, so I'll be showing off that place and the, the lovely green and red dirt rolling hills of Convoy it's a beautiful place on earth uh, but as for today I'm going to be going down this way uh, now along the mountain range so we've come up onto the top of the range now we're going to go along it to Eland so we should have some more pretty cool views and some pretty, good, uh, pretty cool trails there's about I don't know a K of tar and then we're back onto the um, back onto the dirt which is awesome all right I'll catch you guys along the way I've never understood why they started the dirt halfway around the corner wouldn't you just start the dirt on this next bit of a straight so you're not halfway through cornering and going to the hard dirt so, you know, whatever part of the track's a bit overgrown so I just pulled up to the pulled up to the falls car park and there's uh, a couple of different viewing spots you can go right down the bottom uh, which I probably won't do today because you get absolutely hammered by leeches on a day like today um, or you can go right around the other side and have like a, a front view of it forward facing view or the two shorter ones is you can come down here and have a look straight off the top or the main viewing platform and off to the side which is what everyone goes and has a look at but we'll have a look at these two for today oh good. we 
fish is farmed pretty good. You know it's pretty good when this side falls down. Not from this one here. So this one doesn't have very much wood in it at all. Second. Very cool. Alright, this is the main viewing platform. Down for a short walk along this trail here. Yeah, this is one of the reasons why I came along here. Is that if you catch it when there's a fair bit of rain, there's a cool little stream that runs straight through the middle of the track. Old mate's got a little bit of ground to do before he becomes his big brother, but yeah, maybe one day. Uh oh, spaghetti, eh? Mate. This track just became even more fun. Oh, got watching footing, I'm holding a motorcycle helmet too on one hand, so. Got my hands free. Sneak peeks. Poor old tree is hanging on for dear life. Alrighty, I'm starting to head back to the bike now along this trail. Just crossing our little track stream at the moment. Um, yeah, just wanted to thank you guys for watching this episode of Coasting Country Adventures. I really hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be more adventures of all sorts coming very, very shortly. Um, definitely want to get out and do some more mountain biking. But again, the motorcycle content is going to remain the uh, mainstay and the staple of the channel. So there'll be a lot more of that coming, 250L and 500. Um, but yeah, so I'll get some more footage going down the mountain towards uh, Mali. But yeah, thanks for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you along the way. See you.